Hello, Kelsey the Pyrofly here. Welcome to another Minecraft adventure map. As you might be able to see, my brother is unfortunately unable to join me. We actually tried playing this map before, but um, it lagged his computer so bad he just couldn't deal with it. So, looks like I'm going it alone today. Anyway, this adventure map here is called Assassin of Steve. It is by Cavenator1 and Michael M. Kenny. The signs say, you are using version 1.10. Do not play in 1.8 or 1.9. The really funny thing is, I was actually doing just that. I didn't even realize I was in the wrong version. So, I was just about to say, yeah, I got that covered. When I look up at my Minecraft, and it says 1.8.9. So, that, that was pretty awkward. I figure, since the not is in all caps, it seriously means business here. So, I started the map over in 1.10. Hopefully... I'm doing it right this time. See over here we have difficulty settings, hard for those who like a challenge, normal for those who can take on anything, and easy for the average Minecrafter. My brother and I were going to do this on normal, but since I'm doing it solo, I think I'm going to pick easy. You can change the difficulty later on if you wish, I'll see, I might do that. Press to turn on death's counter, whatever. You guys deserve to know just how bad I fail at these sort of things, and I will also turn on the kills counter, so you can show how much I don't fail at these things. We'll see which one outweighs the other. Rules are pretty standard, and I think the only proper way to start this off is by breaking one of them. I am going to set keep inventory, just in case it's not already set on here, because I want to be able to enjoy all of the items on here, not lose them by falling into lava and that sort of thing. So, keep inventory is true in this map. I am now going to press to start my adventure. Oh, it starts with poison. That's never a good sign. See, I imagine I should just follow this lovely gravel path right here. Help me! Who said that? Oh, thank goodness! I Mitch the farmer! Probably should have used a more manly voice for him. Oh well. What's going on? What's going on, Mitch? Some undead farmers are here to steal my crops! Please, help! Don't worry, your crops will be saved. Thanks! Use my supplies in the chest! So here's the chest. Got a wooden sword. That was glitching out for some reason. And a bunch of steak. Once you get wheat, put it in my hopper, and I've reached the checkpoint. This is the starter mission. The objective, save Mitch's farm from the zombies or something like that. I actually missed reading it. Oh, well. Sorry, Mitch. I failed you. Put the wheat in the hopper. You need 15. Don't feed it to the cows. I wouldn't dream of it. So, so it doesn't look like there's any sort of armor, so I believe I have to go out here and find some undead zombies. All right, zombie. Give, you, give back that wheat. You can't take Mitch's wheat. It's Mitch's wheat. Nobody messes with other people's wheat. It's just not right, dude. It's just not right. Come on, just one more zombie. How hard can it be? I swear we never had this problem before. I don't suppose there's one just hanging out in Mitch's place. Nope. No zombies. Where are you, you stupid zombies? I don't even see you. Oh, there it is. The last one. He's over here. And boy, is this guy gonna get it. This undead farmer is gonna have a bad day. It's all 15 wheat. I also get some nice pants. I also have unbreaking, so they will last me a little bit longer. There we go. I'm just gonna go in and put in my wheat. Here is all of your wheat, Mitch. Come on, wheat. Get in there. Get in there, wheat. Oh, I'm not. I put my sword, and that's just unfortunate. Here we go. In goes the wheat. All of the wheat. Take it, Mitch. Take it all. Is that all of them? Is it, Mitch? Is that all of them? No! I saw one go in the barn. Get in there and defeat him. You have the manliest voice ever, Mitch. It's really not manly at all. But anyway, I'm going in the barn. There's someone in there who needs to be. Beat into a fine, fine powder. Wait a minute. Press to enter the barn. You must have gotten all the wheat first. I did it. It's fine. I'm not cheating at all. 
Let's use this guy. Slaw the undead farmer leader. What do you think you're doing? I'm going to stop you from stealing Mitch's crops. It's actually really hard to fight and read at the same time. So I'm gonna let me see how that goes. Well, I was thinking about taking his cattle, too. You wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare take his beautiful cows. Oh, I killed him. He almost killed me. I did just... He says, Arr, No fair! You can't talk anymore. You're dead. Ha! Eat it. Eat it, Slaw. Hey, Mitch, I've killed the leader. Your farm is safe now. Many thanks. Leave my farm by following the gravel path past the greenhouse. I messed up his voice again. And start a mission completed. We saved Mitch's farm from the undead farmers. I'm just going to put this nice helmet on. That's good. I received 100 experience for that. How nice. So, so what was I supposed to do? Yep, follow the gravel path by the greenhouse. I can do that. Just got to get out of here first. Where's the gate? I honestly hate fence gates. I have a really hard time telling them apart from the actual fences. There we go. That's the way out. So now I can just follow this gravel path and get on to the next thing. It is after I eat some steak. There we go. That's good. That's good. Let's see. Go right in here. Down this path. I don't particularly like that noise. Leaf zombie? I don't think you want to do this. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Seriously, zombies, stay away or you will die. 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 Oh my gosh, my timing's a little off. There's a wood zombie, too. I think there's one behind me. I really wish my brother was here right now. He should watch my six. I'm probably going to get swarmed and die multiple times while I'm doing this. But at least I don't have to share the armor. Alright, wood zombie, you want to go? You want to go, dude? Yeah, he wanted to go. He's he, he regretted wanting to go. Here we have, welcome to Amir Graveyard. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I get to go to a graveyard. The checkpoint has been reached. Welcome, Kelsey the Pyrofly. I am the mayor of Amir. Meet me on the top of the stairs. I'll go up there in a moment. I'd just really like to check out the cemetery. Oh, hi, Enderman. Hi, giant hole with a zombie head in it. Um, I'm a little confused here. Either two iron golems died, a two-headed iron golem died, or one iron golem died and needed a huge grave and they just marked it with his head and some kind of replica of his head. I'm not really sure on that one. It's a little strange if you ask me. They're actually really weird looking stairs because they just like stick out from the building. I don't know what's up with that, but um, oh my. Greetings, what's happening? This big headstone wasn't here last time I visited, so apparently I've been here before. It's horrid! It's Steve! He's been assassinated! No! You mean THE Steve? Couldn't possibly be THE Steve, not him! Yes! He used to keep the lands free of monsters, but now he's gone! They're roaming everywhere! Yeah, I, I ran into some undead farmers attacking Mitch's farm on the way here. That's not all. Read mission book one in the chest. This must be Steve's headstone. It is very large. Steve. Rest in peace, Steve. My condolences to your family and your friends. Goodbye forever. Let's see, we have the mission book one. You trade nothing. Says I, it literally says I have no trade. He doesn't even have anything to trade. He wants nothing, and he wants to give me nothing. You're a very, very minimalist man, Mayor. Anyway, I'm going to read this. Mission one, the mine's not yours. Clever use of words there. Steve has been assassinated. A few days ago, he went mining at Mount Jewel, but he never returned. A few days ago, we heard a mysterious voice that stated he had assassinated Steve. He must be defeated. Objective, travel to Mount Jewel, find the assassin, and do anything necessary to defeat him. Oh, believe me, I will do anything and everything necessary. I was just checking to make sure my armor's good. I'm going to put on a new chest plate. So now I have to find Mount Jewel. I'm going to guess this is it. To Mount Jewel. And, of course, it's a creepy mineshaft type place. Mission one, the mine's not yours. I'm doing it. 
Got more zombies to slay. Oh, never mind. That's not a zombie. Find the assassin Mount Jewel. This is not going to be good. The skeletons are really buff. After 1.9, skeletons suddenly got really hard. So, this could be a bit of a problem. Oh well, whatever. I can handle it. Alright, we got, we got spiders in the house. You don't want to mess with this, spiders. You don't want to mess with me. I will not go down to the likes of you! Depart, foul creatures! A little much? Nah. Alrighty. Who killed Steve? I will make you pay for it with your life. No one messes with Steve and gets away with it. Was it you, Skeleton? Was it you? Are you the one who killed Steve? Tell me. Tell me now. Tell me now. Or I'll kill you. I have been waiting for you. <clears throat> okay, checkpoint reached. This could be bad. Are you the assassin? Well, are you? Yes. I'm using my creepy voice for this. It's kind of hurting my throat, though. Wait, the spiders are assassins, or they're just the minions? I think they're just the assassins' minions. Please go away, spiders. We don't have to do this, you know. We, we could all be friends. Just tell me who your master is, and I won't hurt you. I, I don't think they want to make a deal. They clearly don't want to make a deal. I'm just clearly, they'd much rather just eat my blood. So, okay, I was slain by the spider, and I'm back. I lost one of my experience levels. No huge loss. Oh, my sword just broke. That's a little, okay, I got a, I just kept a back up in my hot bar. This will work. This will work fine. I'll get the stone one later. Okay, I think all my armor just broke. Every last piece of it. Okay, I gotta do some things here. Who are you? Why did you kill Steve? Still don't have a helmet. Yeah, why did you kill Steve? That's not important! If you're going to die! Well, I'm not going to die. I already did that. You can't kill me. You can't kill this. Your minions are gonna regret working for you, you scum. How dare you assassinate Steve. He was my best friend. He was everybody's best friend. He's the lord of Minecraft. How dare you touch him. How dare you. Ooh, some chain boots. I probably really need these. Your minions have been defeated. Give up. Still no helmet. Ooh, my legs are gone. These on? Not quite. You haven't seen my Emerald Miner yet. I don't think I want to see it, honestly. Wait, what? It's shooting at me. Don't do that. I should really be shooting you with my bow, but I kind of want to go at your faces with my sword because I don't like you. Clearly, that wasn't such a hot idea. Oh, well. Let's see if I can shoot the, the skeleton dude. Yeah, I can. All right. Whatever. I'm, I'm gonna kill you. I got this. Die. Please die. Go away. Stop it! Stop it, you stupid emerald miner! Aw, oh, seriously. Okay, let's go again. This is where it would be really nice to have a partner so they don't just all get me stuck in a corner. You can split the fight amongst more than one person. It works better, but we're okay. Alright. Your last one to go, stone archer. I think that's it. You're finished, assassin! I'm gonna bring you to justice! Oh, I got the emerald. Place in hole to progress. Okay, I'll have to find the hole then. Let me just make sure I've got everything I need. So, do I have another chest plate? Yeah, but not much of one. I still don't have a helmet. Okay. When the emerald miner dies, place an emerald block in the hollow. This must be the hole. Okay. Your emerald miner is dead now. Come in here and face me like a man. You will not see me for a while. And when you do, you will wish you hadn't. <laughs> oh, sorry, the evil laugh wasn't in there. It just felt relevant. All right, let's see what's in here. I have a bunch more steak. That's good. I always need food. I've got a good sword that does seven attack damage and gives me speed, part of the soldier equipment. I also have a chain chest plate. It's giving me plus 20% health. And I have a infinity bow right here. This one has unbreaking though, so it should last a little longer than my other ones. 
I'm going to put that back. I'm going to go through here. Read Mission 2. This is the Mission 2 book right here. Right there. All right. Mission 2, Bone War. Amir is under attack by the skeleton army. Hurry back to the graveyard and go up the hill and save Amir from the vile monsters. Objectives, the army is being led by four penguin generals. First, kill the four of them. Each general carries a cannon code, which can be used to disable the cannon that the skeleton army have set up. Be sure to disable it because it is destroying the village. Oh no. Oh no, not the village. Okay, so fall down here to leave. It looks like I am on to the next mission. What I'm probably going to do is do one more mission and then end the video until next time. As far as I heard, this is a pretty long map, so we should be able to get several videos out of this. But now, without further ado, I'm going to jump in the big scary hole and move along. I have some pigmen generals to kill. Stone miner. You trying to protect the general? Resistance is futile. Wait, am I supposed to go down here? I don't know. I don't honestly know. Um. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that's the way I came in. No, maybe I am actually supposed to go back. This is all I can really think to try right now. If I going back, maybe the chicken generals are hanging out in the village. I might have to read the book again. Maybe I just got this all wrong. I was looking for a way in the cave, and maybe all I had to do was come down here. Mission two, Bone War. Um. Oh, hurry back to the graveyard. Okay, I'm just really dumb. I wandered around that cave for like at least ten minutes looking for the next place, and really all I had to do was go back the way I came and return to the graveyard to find the pig generals, and then I can kill them. So, I'm on my way back now. Oh my gosh, I've killed exactly 100 mobs. That's pretty cool, actually. Mission 2, Bone War. I wonder why it's called Bone War. Defeat invading skeleton army in Amir. Okay, I think I, I, think I figured it out. I was a little confused because the generals are pigments, but the skeletons are just skeletons. Resistance is futile! Turn back before we have to kill you! You know what, dude? Not gonna happen. That is not gonna happen. Well, we've got a cannon. Ready? Aim? Fire! Alright, show yourselves. Fight me like a man. There's one up there. Gotta get up here. I think this wasn't open before, so maybe I just- I can only get up here now. I can finally get to the village of Amir. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't get me while I'm lagging! That's just so- that's cruel. Ow. That actually really hurt. Uh-oh. It's not a good thing. I'm kinda stuck here. Yep, that didn't- that did not go very well. Alrighty. Alrighty. Here are the skeletons. Here are the pigmen. If I keep backing up, I should be fine. As soon as I run into something, it's gonna be bad news bears for me. Skeleton's gone. Drop the helmet. I'm gonna take that. As soon as I get the chance. As soon as this pigment's dead, I'm going back for the helmet. Uh oh. I hit the wall. Hopefully there's lots of wall behind me. Ooh, he dropped a potion. Let me see. Let us see what he's got here. This is the cannon code. Put four of these in the cannons. Deactivate it. Definitely would love to do that. I get a regeneration potion. That sounds pretty useful. Um, I need legs. Looks like I'm in luck. I have some leather ones right here. I have a nice chain helmet. Actually, two. Let's see. I think this is better than what I have. Okay, so I killed that pigman general. I have some armor now. I need to find the next guy. I'm going to go back up these stairs that I fell off of. And hopefully he'll be waiting for me up there. Die, skeleton. You don't want to mess with this. You don't want to mess with me, skeleton. It'll be the last thing you ever do. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ooh, an enchanted helmet. That's even better. I want that. And my inventory is officially full. It will now be full for the rest of the map. Let's see. There's a villager in here. Hi, dude. Let's see. You have no trades. Do you guys... Like, not even do business. No trades whatsoever. Aw, oh, there you are, General. Time to die. 
Like you said, resistance is futile. Oh man, summoning a skeleton minion. My boots just broke. No, they're attacking the villager. Don't attack the villager. I'll save you, villager, if I don't die first. I'm gonna die. Yep, I died. And I respawn all the way at the bottom of the steps. I gotta keep on going. Back up the steps into the village. Pigman will die. As soon as I find him. You wanna go, Pigman? Gotta keep on stepping back and I'll be fine. See, we have a golden shield. Or yellow painted one. I'm not really sure which at this point. Drop some of that nice butter armor for me, dude. I'd, I'd love to have some. Make me feel hot. There's a stuff. No, I need to get his stuff. It's Why'd I have to die before I could pick up his stuff? That's just really bad. I wonder if it like despawned or burned with fire or something. It probably did for all I know. Ugh, skeleton. Really, dude? Why you gotta be like that? I almost had you. In general, you're all alone. No one's gonna help you now. No one can help you now. You sit here and do this all day long. So now I got another cannon code. So I need some pants. There we go. There we go. The villager inside. Hopefully they're safe for the time being. I need one more pigment general and to find the cannon code from the one I killed, but can't seem to find anymore. Hey, pigmen generals, come and get some. And please stop blowing the village to smithereens. There's nothing left of it anymore. You can seriously stop now. Oh, I heard one, I heard a pigman, where is he? Was he in the explosion up here? Is that why he sounded hurt? That's the cannon. It's made of bedrock, so I can't just bust it down. Although that is a rather tempting option. Last one's in here. You stuck pigment. Bad day for you. Here's his cannon code. With that is just an absorption potion. I got some nice potions here. This cannon code and hopper four are needed. I'm honestly fairly certain by now that those ones I missed picking up got destroyed somehow. So I'm going to do a quick look around. If I don't find them, I'm just going to have to, you know, make do with what I can. Should be pretty obvious if it's there. I'm pretty sure it's not. So here's the deal. I'm just going to quickly go into creative mode just so I can copy these, get myself a fourth one. Game mode zero says you have switched to creative mode. Only use if you are stuck due to an unforeseen bug. Do not use to cheat. Be sure. I will try to report this bug, but it's not really the map creator's fault. It was just really bad timing. I died right before I could pick up the stuff, and then it got blown up. So, honestly, that's not really a bug. It was just really bad luck. So, I'm sorry I had to do this, but it's just how it goes. So there we go. Mission 2 is now accomplished. I defeated the invading skeleton army. I received 150 experience and the question is, where do I go next? The mayor says, there's someone who wants to see you in the basement of the church, okay? Do you think there's anything left of the church? I kind of wonder sometimes. Maybe the basement though. This must be the church. Let's see. This is the mayor, who also seems to be the priest, who never trades anything with me. I don't know how these guys ever have it, even have an economy. Greetings, Kelsey the Pyrofly. I wonder who's talking. My name is Stuart. I'm Steve's brother. I didn't know Steve had a brother. I didn't. <laughs> That's actually. I can't believe it. That's actually exactly what is said on there, and I said it without even reading it. Well, he does. I'm more sad than anyone that he's been killed. Be sure to use the shop. I will accompany you on your journey to stop the assassin. Here's a tip. If you die, you lose one XP per level. No, sorry, one XP level. Yeah, really? I've kind of already figured that out. Believe it or not, even a beefy person like me has died a lot of times already. Anyway, here's mission three. 
I will read that real quick just to see what I'm up against in the next mission. Mission 3, Moonstar. The skeleton army has retreated. The mayor of Amir wants you to defeat them so they will stop attacking Amir. Objectives. Go to the mountain ranges by going on the path past the cannon. Travel through the mountain ranges and enter the army barracks. Once inside, destroy the three power cores, then defeat the leader of the skeleton army, Captain Yarma. What a nice name. With the power cores destroyed and Captain Yarma dead, the skeleton army should never attack Amir again. Okay, I think I can do that. So anyway, I think I'm actually going to end the video here. I will move on to mission three in the next installment of this series. But before I go, I just want to check out the shop, see what we have. Robber axe, 20 levels, and I have 30 levels. I would actually like to get an axe if I could, because I don't have one yet. I think I'm good on most everything. I am going to use my levels to buy the axe. I bought the robber axe for 20 levels. Here it is. It does 14 attack damage. It has unbreaking. And it's part of the soldier equipment. That sounds pretty good to me. So... With that in mind, I think I'm going to end this video. So, until next time, everybody. If you did enjoy this video, please leave some support. Like, subscribe, comment. Just let me know that you like what I've been doing, that I'm not just wasting my time. I really appreciate that, and I hope to keep more videos coming in the future. Bye, everybody.